Welcome to Tally Help videos. In this video, you will understand how the forex team or loss gets calculated considering different scenarios and how to account for the forex gain or loss in your books of accounts. When you record transactions in a foreign currency, the amount is calculated in the base currency based on the rate of exchange. Due to the fluctuating global economy, the rate of exchange for a foreign currency keeps changing and you need to update it as per the latest changes. There can be many scenarios where you will see forex gain or loss in tally prime. The forex gain or loss occurs due to the difference in the rate of exchange entered in the currency alteration screen. You will also get to know how to adjust the forex gain or loss using journal voucher in Tally Prime. Let's first see how to create a foreign currency in Tally Prime. Press Alt plus G. Create Master Currency and press Enter. Press C or click Create New. Enter the symbol and formal name. If your business is in India, then ISO currency code is required to generate e invoices for the export transactions. Enter the number of decimal places based on the number of decimal places required in the voucher amount. If you want to show amount in millions, then you can enable this option. Suffix symbol to amount shows the symbol of currency after amount if needed. You can also add a space between amount and symbol if needed. Enter the word representing amount after decimal. Specify the number of decimal places for amount in words as needed. Press Ctrl plus A to save the master. Now, let's alter the currency master to specify standard, selling, and buying rates as applicable in the business process. Press Alt plus G. Alter master. Currency. Type or select the currency. And press Enter. Standard rate of exchange is a publicly available currency conversion rate. You can find this rate on official forex websites. Selling rate is the exchange rate used by the bank to sell foreign currency to customers. Once the selling rate is specified in the rates of exchange table while entering a foreign exchange transaction, the rates get filled automatically. However, you can alter the rate as required. Buying rate is the exchange rate at which a trader buys a foreign currency. You can also view the last voucher rate options under selling and buying columns and this rate gets updated from the last sales and purchase transactions respectively. If you do not specify a standard rate, then the rate of exchange is considered as 1 during the first instance of voucher creation. However, you can change it during the voucher creation and it gets applicable. Thereafter, if you do not specify the standard rate of exchange here, then the standard rate of exchange gets considered based on the rate of exchange entered in the previous voucher. Now, let's understand how Tally Prime considers the rate of exchange difference to calculate forex gain or loss. The first scenario is when the standard rate of exchange and selling rate is different for a pending bill. In the currency alteration screen, let's specify the date and enter the standard rate as 80 and the selling rate as 81. Press Ctrl plus A to save. Now, let's create a sales invoice. Press Alt plus G. Create voucher. Press F8 for sales. Press F2 to change the date as needed. 
select the foreign party ledger. Enter the applicable details in the screen. Select the ledger created for sales and press enter. Select the stock item. Enter the rate in foreign currency. In the subscreen, you can see that the rate of exchange is as per your selling rate entered in the currency master. Press enter. Add more stock items if needed and press Ctrl plus A to save the invoice. Now, let's check the ledger forex gain or loss statement for the party. Press Alt plus G. Type or select ledger forex gain or loss statement and press enter. As you can see, based on the difference between the selling and standard rate of exchange entered in the currency master and the amount of invoice in the foreign currency, the report displays gain or loss on the screen. CR stands for credit which means that you have made loss of the amount as your selling rate was more than the standard rate of exchange. Please note that as the sales invoice is pending to be cleared with a receipt voucher. Tally Prime calculates the forex gain or loss amount after considering the difference in rate of exchange. Now, let's look at another scenario in which the standard rate is not specified. Let's create the invoice for the date. Press Alt plus G. Create voucher. Press F2. And let's enter the date as entered in the currency alteration to showcase the scenario. Enter other details as applicable. As you reach the subscreen, you can see that the rate of exchange is as per your selling rate of the previous sales invoice. Make the necessary changes and press enter. Add more stock items if needed and press Ctrl plus A to save the invoice. Now, let's check the ledger forex gain or loss statement for the party. Press Alt plus G. Type or select ledger forex gain or loss statement and press enter. As you can see, based on the difference in rate of exchange, Entered in the current and previous invoice, the report displays forex gain or loss. Now, let's see what happens when you clear a sales invoice with a receipt voucher with rate of exchange different than the one used in the invoice. You may sell a set of items when the rate of exchange is 82, but when you receive the payment from the party, the rate of exchange might have changed. Let's consider that you sold an item when the rate of exchange was 82 and received the payment when it changed to 79. Let's see how it works. Press Alt plus G. Create voucher. Press F2 to change the date as needed. Enter other details as applicable. In the subscreen, you can see that the rate of exchange is 82. Let's retain the value and press enter. Add more stock items if needed. And press Ctrl plus A to save the invoice. Now, let's record a receipt voucher when the rate of exchange is changed to 79. Press Alt plus G. Create voucher and press F6 for receipt. Specify account. Press F2 and enter the date on which the payment is received. Under particulars, select the foreign party ledger. Enter the amount as per the sales invoice. In the subscreen, specify rate of exchange as 79 and press enter. 
in bill wise details for the party select the reference as per the corresponding sales invoice press enter and then press control plus a to save the receipt voucher now press alt plus g type or select ledger forex scheme or loss statement and press enter based on the difference between the rate of exchange in sales invoice and that in the receipt voucher the report shows forex gain or loss now let's say you cleared the bill using receipt voucher with same rate of exchange as in the sales invoice you may sell a set of items when the rate of exchange is 79 and the rate of exchange remains the same when you receive the payment from the party let's see how it works press alt plus g create voucher and press f8 for sales press f2 and change the date if needed enter other details as applicable in the sub screen you can see that the rate of exchange is 79 let's retain the value and press enter add more stop items if needed and press control plus a to save the invoice Now let's record the receipt voucher on the same or different date when the rate of exchange is still 79. Press Alt plus G. Create voucher and press F6 for receipt. Press F2 and enter the date on which the payment is received. Specify account. Under particulars select the foreign party ledger enter the amount as per the sales invoice in the sub screen the rate of exchange is 79 as in the sales invoice in bill wise details for the party select the reference as per the corresponding sales invoice press enter and then press control plus a to save the receipt voucher now press alt plus g type or select ledger forex scheme or loss statement and press enter you can't see the entry corresponding to the dates of sales invoice and receipt voucher because the rate of exchange remained the same and therefore there was no forex gain or loss in the transaction now that you know the scenarios of forex gain or loss let's see how to account for forex gain or loss using journal voucher before that let's check the balance sheet press alt plus g type or select balance sheet and press enter You can see the unadjusted forex gain or loss. The net amount is displayed on the asset side of balance sheet that you have made losses. It would have meant profit if the net amount was displayed on the liability side of balance sheet. As per the accounting norms, the net amount must be adjusted and shown on the profit and loss account. First, you need to create a forex gain or loss ledger. Press Alt plus G. Create master ledger and press enter. Select indirect expenses from the list of groups. Press Control plus A to save the ledger. Once you create the ledger, you can record the forex gain or loss at the end of each month or at any point in time as per your business's accounting practices. Press Alt plus G. Create voucher and 
press F7 for journal. Press Ctrl plus H. As you can see, you don't have to create a voucher class to account for forex gain or loss. You can simply select use for forex gain or loss adjustments and press enter. Under account, select the ledger created to account for forex gain or loss. Under the particulars, you will see only the ledgers with forex gain or loss. Select the party and provide the bill wise details. Note that you need to choose only the cleared invoices for which you have received the payment. The cleared invoices have zero as the balance as you can see. Select the invoices and press Ctrl plus A to save the screen. You can select multiple parties if needed. This enables you to create just one voucher to account for the total forex gain or loss across invoices recorded for multiple foreign parties. Enter narration if needed and press Ctrl plus A to save. Now, let's view balance sheet. Press Alt plus G. Type or select balance sheet and press enter. As you can see, there is a reduction in the forex gain or loss. Let's check the profit and loss account. Press Alt plus G. Type or select profit and loss account and press enter. You can see the amount of forex gain or loss under the credit side of the profit and loss account. As you saw, in Tally Prime, you can easily create a foreign currency and specify standard, selling and buying rates of exchange. You also got to know the different scenarios in which forex gain or loss gets calculated and how to account for it. Thank you. To know more about Tally Prime features, visit help.tallysolutions.com. Subscribe to the Tally Solutions channel for the latest videos.